Hello, and today I'll be showing you how you can make your own custom roads in City Skylines. Here's an example of the final product we'll be making in this tutorial. First, before we start, be sure to take a look at the description and have the list of free software I'm using downloaded and installed. So to get started, I'll open up Steam. And if you're like me and have lots of mods and assets installed, we'll enable City Skylines' no workshop mode. And this mode makes the game load only local files. I can enable it by first right clicking the game in the Steam game list and then click on properties, set launch options, and then I'll enter dash dash no workshop in this field here. Next, we want to install mod tools and we'll do that by just searching for it in the workshop and I'll subscribe to it. We next want to have access to this mod in no workshop mode. So we'll first copy the ID number of the mod from the URL here. Next, we'll go to the City Skylines data folder. And on Windows, you can get to there by, by doing Windows R on your keyboard. And then I can just type in percent local app data, percent backslash colossal order, like this. Press enter. And then I can click on the City Skylines folder here. And in my case, so I can just access the folder later in the future more easily, I can make a shortcut by holding the Alt key on my keyboard down and then dragging the folder to the desktop. I'll next open a new Explorer window and I'll go to my C drive, program files, then Steam, Steam apps, workshop, content, 255710 and then in the search bar here I want to paste the ID number of the mod tools mod then next we want to copy this folder to the local mods folder and that's in add-ons mods next open the game enable mod tools Relaunch the game again. Then go to the asset editor from the main menu by clicking editors, asset editor, new, and then select any theme. Once the editor loads, we can click on roads. And here we can first choose the road we want to edit. So in my case, I'll choose this road here, the two lane road of bike lanes. I'll next immediately save it out again by pressing the escape key. Here I can name it anything I want. Next I want to open Mod Tools of C Explorer window by pressing Ctrl E and dump the 3D segment meshes of the road. We need these in order to re-import the road back into the game later. I first need to select the road and the meshes themselves are located in Tool Controller, Net Tool, Prefab, M underscore segments, and then M underscore segments zero. Then if you scroll down here, we want to dump the M underscore LOD and M underscore mesh files. I can just confirm that it's the right one by clicking on preview here. Now we can go back to the desktop and I'll open up the CRP-extract script from my downloads folder. Next I'll go to the local data folder with my desktop shortcut. Go to add-ons assets and then move the save road file to the CRP-extract folder. Then I want to run the CRP underscore extract script, type in the name of the file, and be sure to add the .crp extension to it. Then once it's done, it will output a folder with a bunch of files in it. Next, we want to edit the texture files of the road. I'll be using GIMP with the DDS Reader plugin installed. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the description for more info about how to set that up. So, open GIMP, then go to File, Open, Navigate to the Extract CRP folder, and then to the Asset folder. 
We then want to select the image that looks like a simple road texture. To find it, I'll sort this list by size. The image we want looks like this. Make sure it's the high resolution version, 1024 pixels tall and wide. I'll then click open. Then in this pop-up window, I'll uncheck load mip maps. Let's say we want to make this bike lane here blue. I'll first make a new layer and then use the rectangle selection tool to select the lane area. Then I'll use the paint bucket tool and select a blue color. I'll next have to drag the lightness and chroma sliders in this window here down in order to compensate for the color adjustments the game makes when re-importing. Then I'll make this side here a parking lane and I can do that by first selecting the base layer and then copy some of the pavement texture into a new layer. I'll then place it over the existing bike lane. I'll next use the rectangle select tool to create a line that's 9 pixels wide to show the location of the parking lane. You can go crazy here and customize the road texture to look exactly the way you want, but for this tutorial, I'll stop here. I'll next save this file in my downloads folder. I'll then export the current project I have as a PNG file and name it tutorial road underscore D and the underscore D at the end just stands for diffuse. We now need to make the road and pavement alpha textures. So I'll first make a new layer and I'll call it underscore P. I'll then select around half the image, leaving a little space on the top like this. Then select the gradient tool. In this window, select black as the endpoint color and then select white as the other color. Hold the control key to snap the direction. Then align the transition area so the black fill is aligned with the edge of the road pavement then use the scale tool and stretch it to make it fit. One thing that's helpful is to change the opacity in the scale tool here to make sure everything aligns correctly. Next, copy it to the other side. Use the rotate tool to flip it. Using the scale to stretch it the way we want. I'll then go to File Export and then name it the same thing as the Diffuse Texture, but instead I'll put underscore P at the end. Next I'll make the Alpha Road Pavement Texture. I'll first make another layer and call it underscore R. Next I'll select the pavement by selecting the middle area here. And going to Select, Invert. Then in the selection, I'll fill the area with a black color fill. Next, invert the selection again and fill in the middle part with a gray fill. In my case, I'm using the color C4, C4, C4. Then I'll export the image again and put an underscore R at the end of the file. Now, copy the images from your downloads folder to the City Skylines import folder. Here, I'll rename the dump mesh files one to tutorial road and the LOD to tutorial road underscore LOD. Now, I'm ready to reopen the game again and go back to the asset editor. So, once the editor loads, I'll select the same road and press open. I'll then place the road down. And in order to import the new model, go to segments and click on the first item. Then under model, click here. And then select our custom road. Then set the scale to 100. And if you did everything right, it should look like this here. Now we want to edit the road lanes so it functions the way we want. So I'll go to lanes 
and select where the bike lane is. We want to make sure I'm editing the correct side, so I'll change the position to something else. The prop moved, so it's confirmed that I'm editing this specific bike lane here, so I'll then edit the lane on the opposite side of the road. So I'll change this into a parking lane by going under lane type and selecting parking and then going under vehicle type and then only select car. Now I can save the asset and name it. And for this tutorial, I'll leave everything on default settings. Then we can load up a test save to see if everything works. One save that I found works great. For testing, if you have the mass transit DLC is the fix the traffic map. So I'll use that. I should find the road in the roads panel and I'll find a busy area to test it in. So I'll place it down and it seems to work like it should. So that's basically I can edit and make custom roads in City Skylines. This tutorial just scratches the surface of road modding. One big thing I didn't cover is editing the 3D model of the road, which allows you to change the width of the road or do something completely custom. I also skipped over custom road elevations, normal mapping, dealing with roads that have medians and other things. Also be sure to look at the description for extra resources I compiled about this topic if you're interested in learning more, since there's a lot to know about the subject. Thanks for watching this video. If you thought this video was helpful, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.